Hello everyone. In this video, we will introduce you to the new capabilities in OCI database management service for MySQL Heatwave DB systems in OCI. We encourage you to go through the part one of this video series to know more about how to enable database management for MySQL Heatwave DB systems in OCI. Oracle has been a leader in database management for decades, and now these unique capabilities are available in Oracle Cloud. This new capability in database management service brings the best of Oracle's industry leading capabilities from MySQL Enterprise Monitor, also known as MEM, and Oracle Enterprise Manager into Oracle Cloud. Database management is designed to help you prevent potential outages in your key applications by providing performance diagnostics capabilities that simplify diagnosing performance issues for administrators and ensure quicker resolution of problem diagnostics or performance bottlenecks. The service also provides advanced performance management capabilities to proactively detect and identify the root cause of SQL performance issues. Now let us navigate to the database management console. You can navigate to this page from the Uber menu and from within observability and management, you can navigate to the database management overview section, which takes you to this page. In this section, you would see that we could manage and monitor Oracle databases, MySQL databases, and also navigate to other related services like Operations Insights. Let's go to the fleet summary page. And in the context of MySQL Heatwave, you could see that database management provides the following fleet monitoring capabilities. It is a unified user interface to monitor multiple MySQL database services that are deployed in OCI. You can visualize the summary of the overall CPU, storage, and memory allocation and utilization for all the MySQL databases in the fleet under the resources section over here. You could also see the monitoring status. And you have master detail format, which actually helps understand the monitoring status, the average statement latency, CPU utilization, and storage per database you can also look at the total number of alarms by severity for the fleet. In this case, there are no open alarms. And by default, the data that you see is for the last 60 minutes. You also have the capability to go to the last 24 hours period of time or the last seven days worth of data to visualize these set of metrics in the fleet. The list of databases in this section is categorized by availability, top consumers by CPU utilization, storage, and memory with the details about the average statement latency. And from here, you can drill down to the MySQL database details page to monitor the key metrics for a single MySQL database section. Let us now click on the sales MDS database and navigate to the database summary page. Here is the summary section for the single MySQL database. In this section, you can get a detailed understanding about the monitoring status timeline. Monitoring status essentially means if database management can collect monitoring metrics for the resource or not. The monitoring can be stopped for a varied set of reasons because of issues like network, the collection mechanism not able to reach the database, so on and so forth. You can also look at the other sections, which helps you understand more about the infrastructure related metrics like CPU, memory, disk, disk IO, and network throughput. And on the left-hand side, you can look at the database-related metrics, which relates to the average statement latency, connections, statement count, row reads per second, row writes per second, and you have a plethora of metrics that you could slice and dice to better understand what's going on from within the database. And under the resources section, you can also navigate to the all metrics page that allows you to monitor a wide range of key MySQL database metrics across various areas to proactively investigate and identify the root cause of performance issues. These metrics can be selected as charts. If you click on the charts, you could see that by default, there are a certain set of metrics that were already selected in the summary page. But if you want to go beyond that and select more metrics like the channel lag or the channel failure, or maybe in no DB buffer pool, or maybe something related to the temporary tables or terminated connections, you can do that and clicking on them would enable you to visualize a metric of your interest. And then finally, you can look at the configuration variables section. The configuration variables section provides the details of the variables and the option of navigating to the MySQL database service to edit these variables by clicking on this. You can further make use of the various filters and also you can perform a quick search 
and understand more about a particular configuration variable. In this case, if I were to search on optimizer, I can look at a particular variable called as the optimizer switch, look at the default value, the current value. And these are the filters that we could see here to understand more about where these configuration variables can be set. Are they dynamic? What is the source for these configuration variables and things like that. So this ends the quick introduction to the fleet summary page and the single database page. In our next video, we'll look at deep diagnostics, how to make use of Performance Hub to do deep diagnostics for MySQL databases. Thank you for watching.